Welcome, friends, to this third Sunday of Eastertide. It's great to be with you in your homes or wherever you are watching this video clip. I hope and pray that you, your families and friends are all well, staying at home, protecting the NHS and saving lives. I'm talking to you from your beautiful Church of Our Lady of Perpetual Succor. If I was allowed to travel, I would also be doing video clips from our beautiful Church of the Holy Cross. But sadly, that's not possible at this moment in time. However, I am addressing the whole parish and the three communities that Deacon Martin and I serve, Hucknell, Besswood and Bulwell. I know many of you are coping well with these difficult times, and there are others who may be struggling with loneliness, isolation, anxiety, frustration, financial constraints, bereavement, and many other concerns. Be assured of the prayerful support of our poor Clare sisters, who hold you all in their daily prayers, as does Deacon Martin and I. My dear friends, I bring all of your concerns before the Lord at each Holy Mass I offer each morning, asking the Lord to be with you all in all your blessings and difficulties. We ask our Maternal Mother Mary to, supp to support us through these times of joys and sorrows as we rely on her motherly protection. Today in our Gospel, we meet Jesus on the road to Emmaus. I invite you to come on a journey with me. Will you come? Of course you will. I want to take you back to Holy Thursday evening, the evening of the Lord's Supper. Because in this meal around the table with his disciples, Jesus gave us the gift of all gifts, the Eucharist. He took the bread and blessed it and gave it to his disciples and said to them, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. And the same with the cup of wine. Take this, all of you, and drink from it. Do this in memory of me. My friends, it was in this act of eternal love that Jesus showed us the depth of his love for each and every one of us. Pope Francis said, no one is excluded from this eternal banquet. We know today's gospel so well, but let us just recap on it. There were two disciples, one being Cleopas and the other disciple on the way to Emmaus, which is about seven miles from Jerusalem. As they were walking along the way, Jesus joins them. Jesus listens to their concerns about all that had been happening in Jerusalem over the last few days. These two disciples are so caught up in everything they don't even recognise Jesus. 
And then Jesus explains the scriptures to them. He challenges them. You foolish men, so slow to believe the full message of the prophets, that Christ would suffer and so enter into his glory. While he was at table with them, he took bread, said the blessing, broke it and handed it to them, and their eyes were opened. In that moment, their eyes were open. What did they see in the blessing and the breaking of the bread? What do you see in the blessing and the breaking of the bread at Mass? What do they see in the cup of wine? What do you see in the chalice at Mass? I believe we all see the pure gift of eternal love. Jesus' life spent for us and his blood poured out for us. This act done in pure love for you and for me. That's what I feel the disciples saw and experienced in that meal in Emmaus and at that meal on a Holy Thursday night in Jerusalem. Our faith both challenges us and encourages us to have trust in the one who gave his all for love of you and me. It is in partaking of the breaking of the bread and the drinking of the cup that we fully see Jesus, who Jesus is for us, our soul love. May the risen Lord Fill you with this soul love, now and always. May God continue to pour out his abundant blessings upon you and your families, now and always. God bless you all. Such is for you.